We're at the bottom of Mortimer's Tower, which one is, was one of the original gatehouses into the castle. This is along the curtain wall. And you can see how it's bricked up, so you can see where the original entrance was there, but there's also there's other evidence for this being a gatehouse. If you see this hole here, and this hole here, this is where the portcullis, so the gate, would have dropped down into, and you still have the gap above where it would have dropped down from. We'll go and have a look at the room. That is the original keep. So this was a, a castle built in around, well, with it, dates seem to differ, but um, 1075 is a date that Matt Lewis um, gave me for this castle. That's within a, a decade of the Norman Conquest. And as we know, Norman castles had their keeps. So that square building you're looking at is the original entrance into the castle. And again, you can see uh, into the main, um, lodgings if you like of the castle we're in you've got the outer bailey here which i can't film too much today because lots of children around but um there would have been the drawbridge and the entrance the entrance to the right now um was added later and the the drawbridge moved and the main entrance changed right so let's go and have a look up mortimer's tower I'm negotiating a tiny spiral staircase whilst holding this. Okay, so I'm now open to the elements. The roof has gone. The roof, well, the roofs uh, went after the English Civil Wars, although the castle wasn't slighted. It was a royalist stronghold. It was, um, it was actually surrendered to the Parliamentarian forces. Colonel John Birch besieged the town and the castle. But the castle was surrendered. But um, after it fell out of use, the locals would make use of the materials they could find on site and that would include lead from the roofs because they can use it in their own buildings. Recycling was the key, not preservation. So you can see where these glass tiles are now, which people have helpfully yeah, kicked through, although that does mean we can see down into the room below us, which was the room we were just in. So you can see this was where the drawbridge went down. The drawbridge. <laughs> the portcullis even. So this room would have housed the portcullis. Which should have been drawn up to let people in and obviously put down when you want to keep them out. And we can keep on going, so let's do that. Let's come out here first then. Looking back out again over the bailey. So I said Mortimer added this tower, which is why it's now that got the name Mortimer. That there to the right, so down here, that was St Peter's Chapel. And Roger Mortimer had been a prisoner in the Tower of London in 1324 and he escaped. And when he became um, effectively regent for Richard III, he, he gave himself the title Earl of March. Um, he had this, this castle was already within his family uh, already, he owned this castle, but he built this chapel to St Peter uh, in celebration of that escape and that it, he, he'd actually escaped on the, 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 um, the Feast of St Peter, the day of the Feast of St Peter. 
hence, well, Feast of St. Peter ad vincula, actually, uh, hence the name St. Peter's Chapel. It's a nice picture of the castle. Let's look out over some of the surrounding countryside and you start to get a feel for why this was built here. So this is one of the castles that was built very quickly after the Norman Conquest. Below us down there, you can't see it from here, you might be able to get a view of it later on, is the River Team. So the River Team comes around the southern and western sides of the castle. We're looking out over towards Wales there. So it's on the border, it's defensible, we're on the top of a hill on two or three sides. The rain's about to come down on me. And you've got the town to the east side. Just move out the rain. And there's another um, river as well to the north as well. So it's really well defended. It's a good position. It's high. One of the first uh, castles to be built in stone. There was no wooden castle here first. It was built initially in stone. Let's carry on. It's okay. Thank you. Okay, that's as far as we can go because the steps finish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is where my legs start to wobble. That's looking back down onto the room with the portcullis, where it would have been. So we're at the, uh, what would be the west range of the castle. There we are with St Lawrence's Church in the background, which you'd have heard me talk about is um, where Prince Arthur, Arthur Tudor's heart was buried, his body is buried in Worcester Cathedral, but he died here at Lido Castle. Yeah, so that was a quick tour of Mortimer's Tower at Ludlow Castle.